Welcome, my dear learners, for this course on Engineering Graphics. In our module 3, we were discussing about orthography projection of solids. Let us move on to our problem number 11, which states that a hexagonal pyramid of 25 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its corners of the base, such that the two base edges containing the corners on which it rests makes equal inclination with HP. Draw the projection of the pyramid if the axis is inclined to HP at 40 degree and VP at 30 degree. Since we are inclining the axis twice, definitely I will get the apparent axis length in the final position. Therefore, I should find the apparent inclination with respect to vertical plane which is nothing but the beta angle for this problem. Let us solve this problem since it is resting on HP. Therefore, in the first position, I should make this hexagonal pyramid stand on HP without inclining to any of the planes. Since in the first position it is standing on HP, in the second position I should show the inclination with respect to HP itself. That is axis inclined to HP at 40 degree. In the third position the remaining inclination is with respect to vertical plane. That is the true inclination is given as 30 degree. In the first position pyramid stand on HP. In the second position axis is inclined to HP at 40 degrees. In the third position, again the axis is inclined to VP at 30 degrees. Let me draw XY line first. This is vertical plane and this is horizontal plane. The pyramid is resting on HP on one of its base corners. Hence, I should construct them hexagon getting corners on either sides. Therefore, let me draw a horizontal line whose length is equal to base length that is 25 mm sides of base. Draw a 25 mm line horizontal. Taking this as radius, construct a circle. With the same length, cut equal arcs. Now, join these arcs to get the hexagon. This completes the hexagon with corner on either sides. Since we are solving the pyramid, draw a line to the center from all the corners to get the apparent triangular faces. This is the top view of the hexagonal pyramid with corners on either side. If I mark the corners, I will get A, B, C, D, E and F. The centers are O and O1. Now take the projection vertically upwards and mark the axis. If I do that, I will get axis is always invisible in the front view O1 prime and O prime connect from the apex to all the base corners in the front view observer will be here to the observer the corners A, B, C and D are visible whereas the corners F and E are invisible Therefore, marking which I will get A prime, B prime is visible, F prime is invisible, C prime is visible, E prime is invisible, and finally I have D prime. Show the length of the axis and also the side length. Now, I want to copy this paste and rotate such that the axis will be inclined to HP at 40 degree. In order to incline the axis, if you clearly observe, the axis and the base are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, to make the axis inclined at an angle of 40 degree to HP, I should rotate the base at an angle of 50 degree. Because total angles of a triangle is 180 degree, already we have 90 degree between the axis and the base. He has given the axis inclination with respect to HP as 40 degree, therefore the remaining angle is 50 degree. Therefore, if I rotate the base at an angle of 50 degree clockwise, 
automatically rotate the axis inclined to its feet at an angle of 40 degree. So let us rotate the base at an angle of 50 degree clockwise with respect to HP. If I do that, I will get mark 50 degree first. Measure the base length and also note down all the corners length. Once I transfer the base at an angle of 50 degree to HP and also mark these salient corners. Now mark the axis perpendicular to this line. The axis length is 60 mm which is perpendicular to the base. So draw a line perpendicular to this base line measuring 60 mm to represent the axis. Now from the apex you join the corners. So we have O prime, D prime, C prime, E prime is invisible, O1 prime, B prime, F prime is invisible and finally A prime. So the inclination of the axis which is 40 degree with respect to HP. Now take the projection vertically downwards and also from horizontal. If I do that I will get marking the respective corners. I will get a, B, C, D, E and F. Also mark the axis O1 and O. I cannot show the axis because the slant edge AO is overlapping on the axis. So therefore don't show the axis. Before identifying the invisible edges, let us mark the boundaries to avoid the confusion. The boundary for this pyramid will be O to E, E to F f to a a to b b to c and finally c to o this completes the boundary of the pyramid now in the top view observer will be here to the observer the farthest corner is d prime therefore all the edges emerging from d prime are invisible except they lie on the boundary of the pyramid the edges emerging from d prime are the slant edge D prime, O prime, C prime to D prime and D prime to E prime. So D prime to O prime, I can mark it as invisible. D prime to C prime, I can mark it as invisible. And finally I have D prime to E prime, I can mark it as invisible. None of these three are coming on the boundary of the pyramid. So therefore I can mark all these three as invisible edges. So if I mark, I will get This completes the marking of invisible edges and the boundary of the pyramid. Now connect the remaining base edges and longer edges. If I do that, I will get connect F to O, A to O. So A to O is overlapping on the invisible edge D to O. Give preference for visible edge. So therefore draw a dark line from A to O. And finally you have B to O. In the third position, I should incline the true axis at an angle of 30 degree. The true length of the axis is 60 mm, whereas this axis length is less than 60 mm. Therefore, for 60 mm, the angle of inclination is 30 degree. How much is for this apparent axis length is the question. Therefore, consider the beta angle. First, draw a 30 degree line and mark the 60 mm axis on it. Using 3060 set square, I am drawing a 30 degree line. Let us mark point O as reference. Now, using compass, measure the true length which is 60 mm and transfer to this 30 degree line. At this new point, fix the locus. Now, using compass, measure this apparent axis length, fixing same O as reference, intersect this new locus. The intersection point is nothing but O1. Now, join O01 with a dark line because AO is overlapping on this axis. 
and extend that line to intersect the xy line to measure the beta angle. The beta angle for this problem is turning out to be 40 degrees. Measure from O to A and also note on the point D and transfer it. Thereby I have transferred corners D and A. Now using compass you measure a to F and also from O1 to F draw arcs from A to F and O1 to F transfer corner F similarly measure from O1 to E using compass and also D to E using compass so fixing O1 cut an arc for E fixing D intersect that arc transfer the corner E repeat the same to get the corners B and C and connect all the base edges and also slant edges if I do that, I will get, I will transform corners F and E. Similarly, measure A to B and O1 to B. And also O1 to C and D to C. I transform corner B and C. Now, Connect the base edges and the slant edges and take the projection vertically upwards and also horizontal. If I do that, I will get this completes the taking the projection from vertically upwards and also horizontal. Marking the corners, I will get the corners as A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime and F prime. The centers are O1 prime and O prime for the axis. Mark the axis first and also mark the boundaries to avoid the confusion. Axis mark with dashed lines, dots in between. And marking the boundary for this problem, the boundary for this pyramid will be O prime, A prime, F prime, E prime, D prime. C prime and again O prime. So this completes marking of the axis and the boundary of the pyramid. Now in the front view observer will be here. So to the observer the farthest corner is E. Therefore edges emerging from E are invisible except they lie on the boundary of the pyramid. And also to the observer the base is completely visible. Through the visual inspection itself I, we can conclude that E to O is an invisible edge. Therefore, mark E to O as invisible. E to F is coming on the boundary. We cannot mark it as invisible. For the observer, it is completely visible. E to D is also visible for the observer. It is coming on the boundary of the pyramid. Now, connect the base edge. Connecting the base edge A to B and B to C. We can conclude that F to O and D to O are invisible slant edges. So therefore, mark them as invisible. Finally, you join B to O. As per our second rule, common lines cannot cross over. Here, one is invisible, another one is visible. Here also one is invisible, another one is visible. Here also one is invisible, another one is visible edge. So therefore, this completes the Solution for the given problem in which the hexagonal pyramid is resting with one of its base corner that is D prime which can be seen here and which can be seen here also. As usual I have used same color for these two front views which means that these two front views are of same dimensions. For these two top views I have used the same color which means that these two top views are of same dimensions. That's all from this lecture. Thank you.